back again with our uh, batch cloth solar water heater project. Um, today is we're going to be using the Sawzall, or they call it a reciprocating saw. This is just a Chicago brand. I picked it up at Harbor Freight. Um, well, actually, Bill picked it up at Harbor Freight uh, some time ago. And it's got a little bit of heft to it, but it's a two-handed job anyway, and an easy start button like that. So it's just like a safety last so it doesn't go on anytime. So we just got to find the appropriate saw, get ourselves an extension cord. This one doesn't have a ground. It's just a two-pronger, so that's fine. It's good to get a cord, the electric cord that's rated for the tool you're using. Um, this one is 120 volt, 60 hertz, single phase, seven amps. And if you go to your hardware store, um, they'll help you find the right one to, for, to use for a tool anyway. Let's find that extension cord. Yowzer. Who's the last one that wrapped this extension cord up? Hope it wasn't me. Ooh, I'm so glad that Bill put in this electric outlet out here. Thank you, Mr. B. Um, something oh, um, should remind you about before you start your sawing, or actually any construction project or do-it-yourself project, make sure you take off your rings and jewelry and necklaces and stuff. I noticed in the last episode that my, jewelry, my necklace was hanging down. That's not a good thing. It could so easily get caught in anything. So with that in mind, um, I took that off and um, I'm gonna go get some safety goggles right now because we are using a power tool. So better safe than sorry. Okay, here's um, oh, uh, there are a couple of safety glasses you can buy. This kind here, it's like a couple bucks, and it has the elastic strap. It is adjustable on this side. Um, it fits like that, and it is vented on the side so you don't steam up. These aren't too bad. And we have the kind I like right here, um, just like little glass slip-ons with little side guards. Um, I just like these better because I can get them on and off easier. Okay, now we got to find the right blade for our tool. The reciprocal saw comes with this Allen wrench or hex wrench. Um, and the different blades available. You can also get extra blades. Uh, I'll do a close-up of these later for you. But um, this one here is uh, for wood cutting. And it has the larger blade, the larger teeth. This one here, ooh, that's been used. Let's try to find a better one. This one here is for metal cutting. and it has a very fine blade. So I'm thinking I want to go with the metal cutting. This one is used for any other kind of junk that you have around because it's completely coated in plastic. I must have been sawn on a tank or something. <clears throat> Take your hex 
ranch. Go oh, again, loosen up here. Little knurl there. Some net. Which loosens up this cavity in here. Don't untwist it too much because the darn thing will fall right out. Put your blade in and make sure that you get your notches matched up. You can feel it when it sits, when it seats in there. It has that little hole on the bottom. And a little knob. Okay, so. And then turn it clockwise just to seat it in. Finger tight. And I like to give it a little pull and wiggle just to make sure. Okay, power source is on, so if you hit your button and squeeze your trigger. Yay, and it doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> Ta-da. <laughs> oh, here's something I learned. I think Bill taught me this. But you make a little like a, just loop them over into like a half of a knot. Half of a half hitch sort of thing. And then you just hook it together that way. So that if you do pull on your cords, it's going to have to go through this knot before it disconnects your cords, which is really cool. Okay, let's try it again. Yeah, baby. <laughs> We are inside the uh, cavity of the fridge on the right hand side and uh, these little openings there and the little opening up here is going to allow me to get my sawzall in because the length of the sawzall is just <sighs> take a gander. <laughs> this isn't working. But if I can get my sawzall in that hole and then go down from there, it should take out the length that I need to get this going. Or if it doesn't, I'll just have to cut everything at an angle. We'll figure out something. Okay, looks like we're going to start with the bottom hole. Okay, here's the, the initial line that I just cut. Coming all the way down through. Okay, we got the top one done, and both of them came through up until we got to this point. This must be a nice strong metal rod in here, so I'm going to have to get some a screwdriver and try to pop that off of there, that whole thing, because it stopped. The sawzall stopped here, and it stopped here. So I try to pop this off. Well, got the bar pretty much off. That's laying there, and uh, underneath here there's this big old thick wire, and it goes actually up into here somewhere. Might be a support for the cavity, but this is why my sawzall wouldn't get through. This thing is tough, so I'm going to try cutting it out. Okay, that worked. This is the wire that came off of the tube. So. I'm betting they routed some kind of fluid through there. But anyway, this is the insulation here that's in the fridge. This is all open now. It's completely all the way to the bottom. But uh, we got to cut it from here all the way down to there. And then take out this whole section. We're almost done. get that out of there and then once I get room to move my saws all around then um, I can trim up these little pieces down here that are easier they'll be much easier to get to when I get some elbow room in there. 